Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a snow leopard. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Inside the head, draw a curved horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On top of that, draw a short vertical line for another construction guide. On the bottom half of the head, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. The muzzle should fit between the horizontal construction guide and the bottom edge of the head circle. Draw two small arcs on top of the head as guides for the ears. Draw the ears close to the sides of the head, don't draw them too high up. On the bottom right side of the head, draw a big circle as a guide for the front part of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be almost twice as big as the head circle. To the right, draw another big circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be slightly smaller than the circle to the left. Don't draw the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. Under the body circle on the left, draw a long angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line at the top to indicate a joint and then again at the bottom to indicate the foot. To the left, draw a similar line as a guide for the other front leg. Draw another long angled line under the circle on the right as a guide for the hind leg. Bend this line twice near the middle to indicate the joints and then again at the bottom for the foot. To the left, draw a similar line as a guide for the other hind leg. Connect the head to the body using short sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Connect the body circles using two horizontal lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve these lines slightly. On the right side of the body, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. Pay attention to the length of the tail in relation to the body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal line and on either side of the vertical line. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Make the sides of the eyes pointy for the corners of the eyes. The outer corners of the eyes should point toward the ears and the inner corners should point down toward the muzzle. Make the top edges of the eyes flatter than the bottoms. Inside the eyes, draw tiny circles and shade them in for the pupils. Draw the pupils close to the top edges of the eyes. Draw a series of short strokes above the eyes for a furry texture. Draw short curved lines under the eyes. Make the edges of the eyes thick and dark. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small triangle for the nose. Place the nose slightly higher than the center of the muzzle. 
When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. On the sides of the shape, draw two short curved lines for the nostrils. Shade in the nostrils. Make the top part of the nose wavier as you darken the shape. Add a vertical line on the bottom part of the nose. Under the nose, draw a line that splits off to the sides for the mouth. The sides of the mouth should slope down. Curve the sides of the mouth upward to create the shape of the muzzle. Draw the sides of the muzzle along the edge of the circle. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Use short strokes to indicate a furry texture. The top part of the muzzle should be close to the inner corners of the eyes. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Use short strokes to draw this line for a furry texture. Darken the arc on the top left side to create the shape of the ear. Draw a series of short strokes inside the shape for the furry ear opening. Draw the ear on the right the same way. Darken the arc and add a few short strokes for the furry ear opening. Now use the big circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Make the top part of the head slightly flatter than the initial circle. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the sides of the head for a furry texture. Draw the bottom edge of the head slightly higher than the initial circle. Use the second line from the left that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. At the bottom, curve the shape to the left to create the foot. Use a short curved line to create the foot. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Draw a short curved line near the tip of the foot to separate the toes. Darken the right edge of the leg using a series of short strokes for a furry texture. Use the line to the left as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Make the top part wide and the bottom part narrow. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Draw a short curved line inside the foot for the toes. Use the angled line on the far right side as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. The top part of the hind leg should be a lot wider than the top part of the front leg. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Curve the shape of the leg around the guideline to create the joints. Draw a short curved line inside the foot for the toes. Draw the other hind leg around the guide on the left. The top part of this hind leg will be hidden behind the first hind leg. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Darken the underside of the body using a series of short strokes for a furry texture. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you draw the underside. 
use the curved line on the right as a guide to draw the tail. Just like with the legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the tail around the guideline. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Snow leopards have thick tails, so don't draw the shape too thin. Use short strokes, especially along the bottom edge, to create a furry texture. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines. It's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Add a light value across the body for the base of the coat. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Draw spots inside the head using a dark value. Add a few spots on the sides of the nose for the base of the whiskers. Draw the rosette pattern on the body using a dark value. Draw each rosette as a circular shape that's made up of short strokes. Make the rosettes bigger on the right side of the body and tail. The rosettes don't have to be perfect, just draw circular shapes using dark strokes. Draw spots on the legs. Draw thick stripes close to the tip of the tail. Now add a light value across the body for the fur. Leave the chest and the underside of the body blank. Push down very lightly on your pencil as you add this value. Shade the inside of the rosettes using a darker value. Now use a medium value across the body to create shadows. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the snow leopard. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.